2018, uh, we received an award from the Greater uh, Egypt Economic Development Group, and we attended the awards banquet. Uh, and at that awards banquet, we made uh, some introductions to MantraCon and learned about some of the services that they could provide and took that opportunity to network and invite them into the plan. Uh, so the Prismian Group uh, is a group that's headquartered out of Milan, Italy. Uh, the plant here specifically in Illinois has been here for over 50 years. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, DeCoin is where the other state fair is. Uh, so we're located really in the central part of southern Illinois. And the plant in our office is located directly across the street from the state fairgrounds. Uh, the Prismian Group is the largest wire and cable manufacturer in the world, but the part that we manufacture here in DeCoin is medium voltage power distribution insulated cable. Uh, so it's not the cable that you're going to see typically in your home, it's not the cable you're going to see that goes to your TV. Uh, this is going to be used in large uh, applications such as powering the city of Chicago, the city of New York, uh, Detroit Edison, Virginia Electric Power Company, Georgia Power. A lot of the big utilities rely on our cable in densely populated areas to provide power. So there's 21 manufacturing locations in the U.S., uh, part of the Prismian Group, and 112 worldwide. And about 30,000 employees worldwide and about 6,000 in the U.S. You know, we do appreciate the opportunity that we, we've got here to have the apprenticeship program to promote from within, to grow our talent, to uh, end up with skilled maintenance technicians at the end of this journey, uh, because without that I don't know where we would be. So I, I do appreciate that opportunity that you guys made available for us. Uh, our company worked very closely with the local colleges as well as MantraCon uh, to put together resources uh, to build an apprenticeship for our maintenance uh, associates. Uh, the various colleges put together uh, an accelerated program uh, curriculum for our uh, shop floor, uh, new or shop floor incumbent um, associates. So we uh, promoted from the shop floor uh, with from the pool of experienced um, line workers who had been here for several years. Um, then the apprenticeship gave them the educational background on an accelerated basis and then uh, we're now working with them uh, to become fully skilled maintenance workers through on-the-job training. And it was a paid apprenticeship. We gave them uh, time to go to school as well as paid their travel expenses, their tuition, and so they started out at the basic maintenance level, entry level, and then uh, have quickly progressed up the uh, different grades of maintenance worker. When we first um, learned what the services at MantraCon could help us with uh, as far as the incumbent worker training and in, uh, other type of technical trainings, we did go through several um, process and equipment training sessions that they helped us with as we brought in our maintenance and our uh, process technicians. Um, and, and through that process of three or four um, sessions of incumbent worker training, um, we learned of the possibility of doing on-the-job training and or an apprentice program that MantraCon could assist us with. And um, we, at, through this time, we also had a gap in our maintenance headcount to where we had uh, up to six openings at one time. So the, the timing was right to look at doing some in-house training. We had uh, exhausted um, a job search for uh, experienced maintenance technicians in the Southern Illinois area. and the uh, in-house training was looking more and more desirable for us to, uh, to uh, step into. So um, once we decided to look into it, everything really started just falling into place with uh, developing the program, working with the Department of Labor, and um, selecting curriculum, uh, working with the junior colleges in the area, and uh, compressing that uh, training schedule uh, because our our need was for uh, skilled maintenance persons on the floor working 
Um, so that was uh, our goal was to get them through the training as quickly as possible and then get them on the floor working with the experienced maintenance uh, associates and uh, contributing. We're right now we're compl have completed the educational portion of the apprenticeship. Uh, it was uh, just over a full year of uh, classroom work uh, that was uh, was very compressed and uh, accelerated and they are now working uh, on the job training full-time in the plant and um, the, the, the goal is that within a total four-year time frame that they will all progress to the uh, advanced levels of maintenance.